Hey, uh, conversation series, Mr. J Hill. I got my guy Ernest Third in the building. Ernest yeah. Third in the building. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like every, <laughs> do you niggas say that all the time? Yeah, yeah. Ernest the Third. They Ernest always the third. put the the between it, but that's how it really. That's how it is for real. But okay. I took the the out just to be unique. When we, when we did the freestyle, was Ernest the Third? No, nah, it was Ernest, Ernest Third. Ernest Third. Yeah. Well, yo, how the fuck did we even link up and do that? Like, how did that happen? Because I feel yo, like. Jump. Yo, jump right in the tour. No, nah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> curious, like, how did that happen? Because I feel like during that time, I was definitely like selective of the freestyles. Yeah. Was it the? It was the the showcase. The showcase. All yeah. right. Yeah, you had came and you had bodied that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something, but no. Speaking on that, it's been three years since that drop. Damn. Literally this week, it made three years since we dropped that shit. Wait for real? Yeah, the tenth. Damn. The tenth is when we dropped it on. On your IG, IG TV. because they uh they blocked some the, bullshit on yeah, YouTube. They blocked the the song cry the second half. Yeah, we dropped on the 10th and then on the 13th it dropped on YouTube. Damn. Yeah, that shit kind of viewership wise, I think it kind of people was here, people yeah. was there. Everybody wasn't able to gather in one place. Right, but we we made a classic. Yeah. Like I can't walk around nowhere without somebody saying, "Yo, bro, bro, bro you earnest? Yeah, bro." This shit was that. Da, da, da. Like, Man, that's yeah, crazy. It's like still now, and that's three years that's dope, later. Bro. Yeah. You know, it's crazy because, like, how did you even, like, what made you hop on a, a showcase? Because I feel like that's how it all started and shit. Yeah. Um, I say, like, I feel like niggas be avoiding and taking certain routes for real. When I seen the opportunity, I was like, bro, I know I'm going to win that shit. Right. Yo, I wrote my freestyle before the showcase. Oh shit, like, niggas uh, is ready. Yeah, the first my first half of the freestyle, I wrote it. Mm. I literally wrote it before the showcase. I just knew I was, I'm like, man, I'm going to win this shit. Like, right. So I wrote my first half. Damn. Yeah. And you yeah. came in first, second or second or third, one of them. Okay. But okay. It, it, I don't even feel like it was a place. It was yeah. like y'all just chose the top. Okay. Three. Top three. Yeah, right. y'all just chose the top three. And damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did I'm you glad think I did uh, it. You, you thought niggas? Uh, was it going to actually fuck with you after that? Like, you was going to get the freestyle and shit? When? When? Like, after the uh, showcase. Because, so, you know, sometimes niggas be bullshit. Like, I'm going to do this, and they don't, they don't really hold up to their uh, word and shit. No, nah, I ain't feel like that. Mm. No, nah, once I met you, I knew what it was. Like, it was, I, ain't, I ain't get that type of vibe. Mm. Like, oh, bro, going to bullshit me. Boom, boom. Nah, uh-uh. Bro, I probably met you before the showcase, but I just can't think right now off the top of my head. Probably at some of it. I don't know, but... uh. When I met you there, when we rapped in the beginning, it was just like, bro, oh, we good. Like right. I felt the vibe, like we was cool. So, yo, you I think, ain't think <clears throat> looking back on it, shit. not to cut you off, but looking back on it, do you think, um, of course, it's worth it now because you got the freestyle people recognize you and things like that. Yeah. But do you think showcases are worth it, like that you got to pay for now? Because I know I be having my different reservations mm-hmm. for it, honestly. Like, man, some shit just don't be worth it. How do you feel as an artist though, like looking at showcases and shit? I feel like you gotta be selective. Mm. You can't just be uh, that fucking gullible person. This showcase pop up in your feed. Mm. You go kick that bread out. Da-da-da-da. I know you wanna, you know, you wanna quote unquote make it, but a lot of them showcases be using your dreams against you. Be janky as yeah, shit. Yeah, be, be using your dreams against you. And they have, oh, you get this, we gonna have such and such there. <laughs> we gonna have such and such there. You gonna get this, you gonna get that. And then when you get there, Ain't you're like, what the there. fuck? Where the hell is this exact? Facts. Where's this label here? Facts. So it's like, you really gotta be selective. And that's why when that I shit. did it, I tried, to, I tried to be mindful and like cognizant of like just making sure everybody there. Because you know, a lot of showcases, what mm-hmm. happened is people bring their crowd and then they leave once they done. So I'm like, nah, you can't. I ain't yeah. giving you, I ain't letting you know who go first or last, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, keep every, it yeah. really keep everybody there. Yeah. To, like, you damn near forced to support the yeah, next I definitely, person. I forced niggas. Yeah, yeah, like, like you gotta see what, what you're bringing. Like, yeah. there's no way you gonna rap, they call it rapping and rolling. Yeah. Nigga gonna go on stage, rap there 10 minutes or whatever. And roll out. <laughs> and dip. And they had this Tw- part of, Yeah, this they had part, 20 niggas yeah. with them, like, Nah, fuck that, bro. Yeah, that nah, shit, that you, shit, be empty when you yeah. get up there. You be sick, like damn, bro. Yeah. Like if they was here while I was here, I could have probably got a Facts. few more fans for real. What, what, what about the um? How do you feel about paying up, open up for niggas, bro? Nah, that shit. I feel like niggas be taxing on the price. Make oh. it fair. Make it fair, bro. I I I just see niggas talking on Twitter about this shit, like. 
I don't, I don't know. Somebody having something here. Right. Not in Maryland, but like Baltimore. Is it uh, Summer Jam? Might maybe? be. Okay. It might be. And I seen they said they were charging like 10 and 12. Wait, what? 10,000? Yeah. 10, yeah. Nigga, 1,000. Yeah. <laughs> 1,000. Yo, niggas was. And the time was like for two I mean, for five, five minutes, for this minute, it's just, it's not. Oh, no. I respect it, though. I respect niggas' hustle if you really. If you got it to pay to open up for somebody, if you really got it, really, really got it, invest in it, go ahead. If you but feel like you, it's going to work. It's $10,000 to open up for somebody. Even if you got it, I I just don't think something is not even a smart investment. I, though, I, I think the time slots, too, like opening up is literally, when they say opening up, nigga, you really opening up. Yeah. Because it don't be, <laughs> it don't be no, it really don't be nobody in the crowd. Facts. So you got to think about that, bro. Before I kick out this 10K, if I want to perform in front of my mans and them, I or my family, I could have just invited them to the studio and Facts. and recorded while they was in here. But for a good price, though, right? Let's say, let's say it's a good price, right? Um, do you think it's, it's worth it as far as getting the exposure or you still want to fence about it? What's the, what's the price? <laughs> what the I, I say, I don't know. I don't know. Let's say 250 I guess. 500 I don't know. I yo the yo the money is a is th- is is a big thing, but I really think like the time frame mm. is important, yo. Like like if I'm on what, right before they come on, then I, I can yeah, do that. Yeah, that's cool. Like that's that's really opening up. I feel okay, like okay. the shit <laughs> the shit niggas doing now in this pre show. <laughs> <laughs> like bro, bro niggas, you you oh, you performing you, while niggas is while niggas doing sound check. Yo, like. <laughs> Shit, nah, it's foul. It. It's foul. I just feel like it need to be a balance on that. Like, I don't know if somebody can come up with it. Like, if you got these big artists coming in town, figure out a way to to allow the biggest nigga here or somebody who coming up to open up before them, literally right before they go on. Right. That's a good look. Mm. And you can charge them the 10K because you guarantee and they yeah. going to perform in front of thousands, right. hundreds. So let's look at it from a, con- a consumer um, perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think it's annoying for them though? Because I say a lot of these people are promoters, they'll have like 10, 15 openers, right? And now the people that's in the crowd is they they tired. They're like tired. I came here to see whoever the fuck yeah. I came to see, and I gotta see all these. I don't want to say nobody's, but like yeah. people that I ain't come to see. You feel me? Like yeah. I, how about I, from that perspective? I would say you can put a. Uh, I think they could put a cap on it. Mm. Like say if you're gonna do it like that, like I'm saying, like pick the right time frame. All right, we only taking. Three to five openers. Mm. If that five is pushing it, yeah, five three to right. five. But you really should have your committee or whoever you work with be selective with who you feel me. Like, don't take everybody bread because there's some niggas who got the bread and get up there and just be this terrible do, performing. Do. Yeah, <laughs> like terrible some shit. Like, imagine paying 10k and this is your first show ever. Sheesh. You gonna get up there? You gonna be like, what the fuck? This stage big as shit. Yeah. All these people right there. You going as an artist? You definitely going from. Yo, what happened to like artist development? I know it sounds cliche, but like I feel like a lot of times when it comes to you know confidence, when it comes yeah. to having that poise on the stage, that shit matters, bro. Yeah. And if you don't have it, bro, it's gonna show a hundred percent. I think it comes from bro niggas got now niggas got to really do it themselves. Right. And this is like like. For instance, for me, I make sure I study the great one. Mm. I'm watching niggas' live shows. I'm watching niggas' freestyles. I'm mm. seeing how niggas moved and did this and that. You got to really study the greats. Like, you can't just wing this shit, bro. No, you, you can't wing it. Like, if you if you got a performance, I'm going to watch a, a Kendrick performance. I'm going to mm. watch a Cole or somebody saying how they work the stage, how they, you know, move the crowd. It's just certain shit you you really got to study. So, all right, question, right? If you had to choose one, right? Mm-hmm. If, it, if it had to be Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole, who would it be? For what? Like studying or nah, just in? Who's, who's better? Who's the better artist? <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's tough. If you had to choose one. Like, I ain't had no choice. I yeah, can't no, stay neutral at all. Nah, hell no. Fuck that neutral <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Kendrick. Kendrick? Yeah, hell yeah. Damn. Kendrick. Why like, why? Um I say, yo, this is the weirdest attribute, but I think his uh his um his range. Mm. Like he do a lot of shit vocally that niggas don't even pay attention to if you're not a studier of music. Like shit he doing some of his hooks, he be having like 
You might hear this low, high, something in between, then this weird ass sound with his voice un- all the way underneath mm. that you really can't hear, but it adds to that the, part of the song. Not know, saying cold on do it, but Kendrick do that shit too, like right. And then it's like your opinion. High it's level, hard. yeah, he do that shit too. Uh, I think I heard um, Casanova once a time say that about uh, Young Thug. He was saying like, "Yo, he's he's never seen somebody like in a studio because he like he was sitting in the studio, or whatever, mm-hmm. and like he doing all this funny shit with his voice or whatever. Like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? But when they played it back, it's like that yeah, shit is hard. A, you literally leave your leaves no like empty space on the track mm. like everything is filled like literally like yo fills every void on i fought with thug too and that's one of the reasons because from ad libs from the shit he do on his main vocals his underneath vocals is a lot that you can like damn y'all can't why would he say that mm. nobody else would said that shit but it made sense because he did it it's no, that's hard. <laughs> yeah that's, that's hard. shit damn. yo i feel like damn we like 11 12 minutes in this motherfucker we ain't even talk about you bro like yo What's good with you, but like I, I feel like we did the freestyle, but still it, it definitely was like a, a, a um, transitional thing. I mean, like a transactional thing, right? Like you mm-hmm. came and did the showcase, you was top three, so you got the freestyle. Yeah. I feel like I ain't really get a chance to get to know you. I ain't never do like an interview or nothing like yeah. that. Like, what made you even like? Matter of fact, before you even get to that, like, where you from, bro? Like, <laughs> like that's start. I, told, I said I, yeah. I said I wasn't gonna do yeah. that shit, but like, fuck it, I, yeah. I, I never got to know you though. Like, Blue where South you from? Baltimore. Okay. Yeah, like literally, like I feel like you told me that though. Yeah. I'm from South Baltimore. Okay, like, I live. I feel like I lived in every neighborhood in South Baltimore. Damn. Brooklyn, Cherry Hill, family out Westport. Like it's, I'm South Baltimore. Like, just that's me. Like that's that's my shit. Like I'm South Baltimore. If you had to explain South Baltimore right to like the people that only hear cliche East and West, right? Mm-hmm. How would you explain it? That's a good ass question. Uh, I say. As far as Baltimore, like, we, like, in a world of our own. Mm. Like, we got our own scene. Like, South Baltimore has is, like, its own city within the in Baltimore City because it's just, like, it's, it's so – it's really family-oriented. Like, everybody damn near related if you dug that deep to figure out who this who person – pe- Yeah, okay. like, who your peoples is. Okay. Oh, that's my uncle. That, that, that. <laughs> like, everybody related. So I say it's, like, literally our own city within – Baltimore City. Right. So, yeah. what what part of South Baltimore? Because I think it's um, because Cherry Hill isn't considered South Baltimore, right? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, that's South Baltimore. Now Cherry Hill is definitely a, a <laughs> fucking city in itself. Yeah, like, yeah, if, yeah. if South Baltimore was a city in a city, Cherry Hill was like a city in a city. In, it's a motherfucking village. Yeah, it's not a yeah, city. That's fact. So what part of what part of South Baltimore? Baltimore, Brooklyn. Okay, I grew up in Brooklyn. Okay, that's like not too far from Cherry Hill. As a child, I lived in Cherry Hill. Okay. I spent a lot of time in Cherry Hill growing up too, so it's like, yo, both. My first time shit. ever, yeah. like, um, like holding a gun and like holding some drugs was <laughs> in Cherry Hill, bro. For real, Cherry <laughs> Hill is like the scariest place on earth, like on planet, like like Cherry yeah, Hill. If is, you, especially if you're not from there, yeah. you don't know certain cuts and certain. All right, that's different. And I was young, you know, when you're young, yeah, like you really try to uphold them. Them hood traditions, like nigga, you yeah. ain't from here. Like we don't know what the fuck we talking. I'm like yeah. eleven, like twelve, yeah. like. Yeah. Did you your, go, what your peoples lived out there? Or, yeah, and then know. like I ain't gonna lie, like Cherry Hill had some. They had girls out there for some <laughs> odd reason. It was weird. Like I don't know. Like that's because you wasn't you yeah. used to coming out there. So. I'm about to say like, cause, and then but it was weird because like up the hill down and the then hill. like down hillside. Yeah, this shit was yeah. crazy. Then like yeah. niggas used to. I think we used to steal. Uh, we used to steal. Firecrackers off the uh, trains when they when they when rode, we used to hop on the trains. Real? Yeah, we used to hop on the train and shit like that. Like, but niggas just shoot us with the the, uh, the salt gun. The salt gun. <laughs> yo, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, man. yo, yo, Cherry was Hill was, <laughs> yo, so, 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 so wild shit yo, early. Like, Cherry Hill uh, was a wild was ass up. place, bro. Yeah. And then we used to um, we used to steal bikes. We used to go like bike. I hopping. probably yo, I probably seen you out there. Yeah, yo. I was yo, yo, yo no crazy niggas. Mom. If you say you was out there when you was around 11, 12, we close in age. I probably that's probably where we probably bumped, bro, that ran across each crazy. other. Like yeah, yeah, now, yeah. That was sick, bro. So what made like how you hop into music, the music shit, bro? I, honestly, I've been doing this shit since twelve, maybe maybe before twelve. Time and I performed at my fifth grade graduation type shit. So it go it go way back, but. Since I played ball, that talent overshadowed music. So I ain't really, I paid more attention to playing sports than really being an artist. When you say ball, football, okay. I played football. That's and weird basketball, to hear. I say it's weird to hear somebody say like 
when I say I play, I say football. Usually when I hear somebody say they play ball, it's, it's basketball. basketball. Usually, I don't know. That's probably that, that me being on Cali, I feel like niggas okay. say that, like over there. When like, the fuck you go to Cali? For Jugo. Okay. Yeah, for, oh, yeah. What school you went to out there? Shit, called Hartnell. I told you that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my nigga Lonzo. Yo, <laughs> yo, shit. Yo, try to get the right angles. That nigga wrist is in. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yo, um. Shit, oh, so you went to Juco out there? Yeah. Oh, so you was balling? Yeah, hell yeah. What uh, position you played? Linebacker. Fuck no. Yeah. You little I was shit. bigger, bro. Wait, um, how, much, how many pounds you lost, bro? You had to lose I was at least 100. Saying, I, I ain't trying none of that. No, no, no. I'm still way close to it, but the tone different. Yeah, because I'm like it's 195, weight. bro. Yeah, it's shit different. ridiculous. Niggas be like, you 195. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. a big nigga. Yeah, like, it's <laughs> different. Yeah, I'm still in that 230. Okay. Man, oh, all right, yeah, yeah. It look different. You, it's different. It might look you like. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, it might look like. When, but you, nigga. when you lift and that shit get to cutting up, you a whole well, different. How much you like? You like 290? 305. 305? Damn. Nope, he's solid, though. Yeah, he right. <laughs> play DN. Oh shit! Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah See, yeah, I'd yeah. have been going to get like you feel. Damn. Me? Yeah. Did you go? That, that was a um. What school was it again? The shit. Hard no. Hard no. I think I heard of hard no. A lot of people from Baltimore go to Cali Yo, and go there. To you know what the uh the wave is, bro? And I learned this in high school, military school, prep school. Cause you don't Fort lose Union and shit. Yeah, you don't lose no eligibility. Yeah. Like my nigga West went there. Like picture going to Fort Union playing for three years and, and coming to a lose. school and you're a freshman. <laughs> that ain't that shit crazy. <laughs> that shit hard though, right? That shit hard though. What Fort to get in military school? You know what I'm saying? It's like hard. Like that shit really structured. Oh like, yeah, no, it's, it's military. It's different, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> shit is like that. Juco is like you damn you on your own type shit. It's like, like college. No, no, it's college, but it ain't like like D one like type bro. shit. Bro, nigga, six niggas in one apartment type shit. Like, you ever watch Last Chance You? No, I don't think I've seen that. Bro, if you watch Last Chance But college Chance is like, that'd be like six niggas in the crib. Bro. If, you run a, if you run a spot, it'd be like that. Bro, Juco is different, yo. I'm telling you, you're like, that shit, especially in Cali, you don't got no meal plan. Um, you don't got no dorms. Oh, shit. Well, we ain't have no dorms. Some Juco's got dorms. We ain't have no dorms. Because, that's because Juco is community college yeah it's just a uh, it's a community college with a good ass football program yeah that's <laughs> like, it yeah that's it like that's Literally. all it really is yeah that's Damn. it yeah see i went d3 and that shit was fucking terrible and then i transferred to morgan like because you know you know if you don't like the what is it called like the uh your grades and shit mm -hmm. like my grades was good but my sat scores wasn't all that yeah so like yeah. it fucked up my whatever so yeah, i i, I, I didn't clearing clear house yep clear so i went to, i was like, i want to play football now so I went to D3. Damn. Yeah, I, I played corner. Then I transferred to Morgan. I played a little bit over there. And that shit was lit, yeah. But, nah, that's definitely I played shit. D1. No, nah, I know. Like, yeah, wait, wait, wait what, 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 what you transferred to? South Carolina. Ooh. Yeah, outside. When I left Juco, I went to South Yeah. yeah you ain't know. like that, nigga. You ain't like I'm, a, I'm humble, man. <laughs> like, I'm, that's a chapter that's closed. I'm retired. It's over. Uh, yeah, it's fuck over. It. Like, I'm retired. I try so, to keep that shit on a, you know what I mean? Like, so how the fuck? So you was doing music, right? I know that had to be challenging because niggas don't take football players or or anybody that plays sports that make music seriously. I wasn't. I didn't put nothing out until, like I said, I, I that was a talent, but I ain't put shit out till I was eighteen, till mm -hmm. I graduated high school. Okay. Like, but now you in college playing no, ball for real. No, I ain't go to JUCO straight out. Like okay. when I graduated, I think I sat out like a year. Okay. Cause the school I was committed to, the coaching change, you know how that, that shit, shit goes. Yeah, bro, yeah, I had to decommit. It was a lot. Um, I set out a year, and that year I got to put out music. What high school you went to? Dunbar. Well, you went to Dunbar? Yeah. Oh, you probably was on that that team where like twenty of y'all niggas went D one. Nah, 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 nah. Well, what Tavon is and them? Tavon? No, nah, I'm after them. Yeah, oh, shit. I was. A, I was. I think I was two years after them. Two a Damn. year. I think Tavon graduated in ten. Two thousand ten. Oh no, he probably graduated oh nine. Cause 09? I graduated 2010. I think he graduated 2009 or I was, 2010. I was 12, 2012. Oh, okay, so you yeah. wasn't you wasn't out there when it was. We was they no, were still we nice. was still nice as shit. Yeah, yeah. When I was nice. when I was there, we won two uh, state championships. Yeah, we won two. Yeah. No. Nah. I'm gonna say how I ran track against this nigga tape on, bro. I hate this nigga, bro. I'm gonna say why. Nah, not in real life, but yo, you know how like track you gotta have a good form and shit like that. Tape on, they have no form. Smoking <laughs> niggas, bro. I was so fist balled up, <laughs> just like, just right, like, head up, like a little hood nigga. Yeah. Like, bro, I hate that. Like, yeah. I'm like, I got this perfect phone. This nigga smoked my ass. I'm that like, nigga, he was different, different, yeah, bro. Was different, and the bro. way he could stop it. Oh my god. Yeah, he but, was. 
So you want to dumb up, but I feel like even still in that moment, like niggas know you serious about this football shit. You dropping yeah. music, I know I had to catch niggas off guard. Like what the fuck? No, nah, I've rapped like niggas. You know what niggas do in the locker room? Okay, niggas freestyling, rap. But I think niggas always sensed that I was just better than everybody else that probably was freestyling yeah. because that's on because Joking, deep inside I really yeah. could rap. You probably was going yeah, home at the really practice, <laughs> writing down your rap. So when y'all playing whole time, you ain't really playing. Niggas is yeah. joking about freestyling the whole time. No. You already had that shit Man. together. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get y'all niggas out the way. Yeah, I used to be like. Even in college, I did the same shit. So I think niggas just realize, like, oh, hold up, bro. No, you different. Like, this ain't <laughs> this ain't no normal, just regular freestyle. You ain't nice. playing, nigga. No, <laughs> nigga no, no. You putting in some time, for real. Mm. So, um, damn, you started the music shit. I At feel like school. we did the freestyle shit. Shit started picking up. Yeah. How was it after that, bro? All right. I'm, I said, let's go. Let me, let's go on a little journey from that shit. All, All right, right, let's go. So. From high school, I dropped, I think, my first shit. I write, like, introduction. Damn, bro, you rapping, boom, boom. It was good. Then I stopped for a year, went to junior college. I just wanted to challenge myself, honestly. Like, fuck, I'm going to go to school, see what it is. I end up um, being, like, a top player that year, but top linebacker that year. Got a couple offers. When South Carolina offered me, I went there. I still did music at the same time. I was like releasing shit here and there, you but it wasn't. Niggas. We ain't take y'all serious, bro. Yeah, it wasn't it's consistent. Sad, it, yeah. it wasn't consistent. Even I say it wasn't consistent. It was here. There, but it's sad because it's a couple athletes. That's nice though. Yeah. I'm, but I don't feel like I ever was in that bracket, like okay. the athlete that rapped. Hell okay. no. Like that's why I try to separate the two. Right. I'm talking about it now because it, I feel like that chapter is like close. I'm so far from that shit. Is less like mentally that I can talk about it right. and not be feel like I'll be in that bracket. Because you had success though as a yeah. as an athlete. I feel like a lot of niggas when you don't have the level of success that you hope for, you wish for, it's hard to let that shit go. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, niggas just be... Even niggas that had success, it's hard to let that shit go. Because yeah. on a collegiate level, especially at a D1 school, like... You, I had to reach a certain point of comfortability to even... I don't even know if I said the word right. That shit slurred out my tongue. I had to be comfortable to even want to say fuck football yeah. and go full throttle with music. Mm -hmm. But thankful the niggas I met down south, bro, I, I'm saying them some of the most supportive people I ever met. Like... Bro, go for that shit, bro. Mm. You got it. Like some they used to tell me, like, bro, nah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You can, you can make it, type Damn. shit. And I just reached the point mentally. I was like, all right, I ain't living for nobody no more. Damn, I'm that's a dope. Do I'm gonna follow my heart and really go for that shit. So and coming just, up to Baltimore, like you said, like you know, like she down south, they did some of the most supportive niggas that you can meet. Yeah. And then now you in Baltimore, <laughs> it's like, yo, yo, can you support me? Like, hey, yeah. like, can, can I get you? That's a whole like, different. Like how how was that? Do bro, you, you just niggas? can't even you can't even put an expectation on mm. support in Baltimore. That's a fact. You just gotta really do that shit because you love it. And even I struggle with that. Me saying it, it sounds good, but I feel like every artist struggle with wanting to be supported. Mm. But in reality, you have to go support other shit. Mm. You gotta support other artists, um, other brands, other hosts. You, everything for yeah. real because you gotta you, give it to get it. Yeah, bro. what what you giving out is what's coming back. You gotta select few in the city that don't really have to do it. That's gonna get it because <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, what do you but think you like about trend that? because of trends or? I don't know. I mean, like, cause niggas just hot. I don't even know if it's trends. Like, you got niggas that's just hot. Like, I don't know how they got hot. They just hot. And you don't feel like they gotta go out and support other shit? Fuck no. There's a couple <laughs> niggas I don't like. It's niggas yeah, that's lit they, out here. Yeah, like, yeah. They don't got They can sit in the I, crib dropping a song. Niggas gonna fuck with it. Hey, man. Love to them. Like, that's. It's a good thing for them. I can't complain about that shit. I still gotta take care of what yeah, I, I gotta got take care of. Fuck, I, got I gotta <laughs> get to the point where I can be sitting in my house on my ass and, you know, I'm gonna just drop this song just for no reason and that shit go crazy. So, do you think that, um, well, you was telling a story. You for the saying, music shit. Yeah, yeah, you tell the story. All right, so from South Carolina, once I reached that certain point, um, I just went for it, and I came back up here. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that was 2016 or 17, maybe, and I just started dropping shit. That's when I was able to be more consistent. Right. Um, I, dro I actually dropped the EP while I was down in South Carolina, 
Shit called Doing Meditation. And I dropped a little mixtape called 13th Grade while I was there. And then after I dropped them, I headed back up here and just was dropping shit. And then ended up doing the freestyle shit the Damn. next year. So. so that shit worked in your favor, that freestyle shit for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was talking about that. Hell yeah. Like on a, I'll say on a um, local standpoint, far mm. as in like DMV type shit. Um, like I said, if I go somewhere and nigga recognize my face, they gonna be like, bro, you earnest, bro, earnest third, like, yeah. Oh, yo, I fuck with the, the oh, no ghost writer shit. Uh, you killed that shit, bro. One of the best ones. So, um, I felt like it, it put a face with a name. Mm. Let's talk about the support, bro. Do you think um that is a game? Like, do you how, how do you look at it when it comes to support? First, of course, you gotta go out and get it right. Mm -hmm. But wanna, do you think it's fair? Like, do you think niggas is playing by the rules out here in Baltimore or or in the DMV when it comes to supporting these artists? I say nah. It's more. It's a. It's a big ass uh, popularity contest. I hate the phrase, but it's really the truth. Right. And the shit crazy because I'm a popular nigga outside. Mm. <laughs> like before I even did music, I was popular. Mm. Before music, I was that nigga in in football and shit. So it's like it's weird at the same time. But I think niggas don't want to jump out there to support you if the rest of the people not. Mm. Niggas are afraid to do that. Niggas be afraid to support something, especially when it's different. Yeah. If it ain't the normal shit that we that we listen to or that that quote unquote that's what we do here, niggas gonna hesitate. Like what about what do you think about the saying like, um, because I remember I used to say this back in the day, like, uh, if it's a popularity contest, fuck it, get popular then. Yeah. I mean, I mean, because I feel like, honestly, and, and I know it's not fair to have this conversation, but I don't think I'm the most popular, right? But mm -hmm. we can't ignore that I am popular, right? Yeah. But I feel like, you know, this ain't falling in my lap. Like, I'm not yeah. one of them niggas that be, like, sitting around yeah. and I can drop something that's lit. I actually work my fucking <laughs> yeah, ass Yeah, I just off. said, bro, are you tired? I just asked yeah. you that before we started. So, like, that's why I say that because, like, when people say it's a popularity contest, although I can relate and understand, mm -hmm. it's like, bro, I didn't really get my following from just like I don't know, you know how some niggas just got that that juice. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like that was never yeah. me. I worked for every fucking follower I got. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So like that's why I asked, uh, what do you think about that when somebody say it's, it's a popularity it's, it's contest? Tough. Popular? It's tough because like as artists, especially if um you ain't in the mix as much. Mm -hmm. Like okay. you ain't going out there. Yeah, <laughs> like I, me, like I feel like coming up as a teenager, bro, I used to go down a perfect. Right. Now, niggas is there Bourbon Street all the time. So, now that um, as a adult, I ain't really like, I'm not into that shit as much as I used to be. So, I'm not out there in a mix. Mm. If that's how niggas feel like you got to build your popularity nah, by be, like being in a mix, I, I, I guess I will never be popular <laughs> because I ain't really go against my morals yeah. now and just go, I want to go to this party because I want to be in a mix. No, nah, in a mix get you. In, in bad Jam situations up, sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess I, a <laughs> nigga never be popular. I had to win out outskirts or the other places, and then the love will come. You know, I was talking back. about that to somebody. I feel like, bro, honestly, um, niggas be chasing, like, to get the audience of the cool guys and all that shit. Yeah. And this is nothing against nobody. I feel like, honestly, it's more people that's quote-unquote uncool yeah. than there is cool. If yeah. you can get that audience, you then you winning. They the people who really gonna pay and for spend your, money. Yes, facts. Yes, they gonna really be at them shows. It supports you for for, for real because niggas that's popular always gonna be like, yo, I can't get in for free, bro. Like you don't know my try to use my face card. Like nigga, pay, nigga, the fuck. Yeah, like niggas work hard for this shit. Right. But the, the other people will really be in line waiting for you hours before you even touch the venue. No cap. Oh, such and such here tonight. Da, da, da. Like, and he paying full price. Niggas right. is not looking for no. No discounts, out, yeah. like no. We Yo, tell me how um, you got this new project out. No, no, um, no, it ain't, it ain't dropped. It ain't dropped. No, is it EP? Yeah. What's the name of it? Reset, reset, and reflect. And I, I that's exclusive because I ain't tell. I usually don't. Do, I just drop shit and, and just and it just be what right, it is. Reset and reflect. Yeah. Did you? And I, I'm gonna just take a guess. Did when the last time you dropped something was it a while ago? Uh, solo for me, 2018. Okay. I but I dropped a project with Mighty Mark in 2019. I wanted to talk about that for yeah, a second, but so not I yet. Dropped. And that's what I could, when you say reset and reflect, I could kind of think like, all right, using yeah. context clues, maybe you ain't dropped in a while. Yeah. What, what, what was the hiatus for? Uh, I'll say 
COVID played a part. That's nigga, you had more time. No, no, than hold up. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it played a part, but I'll say um, selective where I'm, what I'm doing. I just didn't want to drop shit so it fall on deaf ears. Mm. Like it's like putting your heart into some shit and you're not doing the proper. St- you know the proper stuff to drop and it really get to people. Right. Cause that's the goal. Like you don't want to just drop shit, just to, in terms of saying, "Oh, I'm consistent. I'm just dropping shit." That's cool, but is it getting to the people it need to get to? Right. So I had to really take a step back and get some shit in order and grow as a person. And now I feel like I'm ready to get back to it. Let's talk about that um, Mighty Mark collaboration. All uh, right. Yeah. What? Like, where did that come from? Like, what made you do that? He he from South Baltimore. Okay, he's a, he from Cherry Hill. Yeah, but he lit though. Yeah, he's a he's a legend. When it comes to, come to Baltimore shit. club, yeah. like he's a yeah he's a pioneer. So uh, I know his brother. We played ball together. Uh, I feel like we had talks before, like on doing some shit when he first knew I was doing music, but we never like came around the door. And then uh, twenty eighteen, we dropped our first joint together. Uh, the shit caused success, and then we just ended up doing a project together. It was just, it was genuine. Okay. It was just organic for real. Was you a big club music fan? Yeah. N- hell you yeah. You used to dance? You used to be in the middle of the club <laughs> dancing and shit? Crazy legs and shit? No, no comment. If you know, you know. No yo, what comment. you mean, bro? Yo, no, no, no. no I plead plead this one of crazy, crazy legging I, ass, I, ass I nigga. I used to be crazy legging. I, I, I used to do the little I, think, I feel like everybody danced if you from Baltimore. If you was pop, if you was lit. Yeah, I feel like it's crazy right now. Cause yeah, now I everybody think about it. danced. Yo, if you was man, I don't, bro. That's dancing us. was cool. Yes. Yeah, like dancing. Was, if you couldn't us. dance, you was probably weird. Yeah, like, you, was, you, you was, was. Yeah, like you probably bro, looking you, at you crazy. Now I'm thinking about. I've seen niggas dancing in the middle of the club. I'm like, yo, you know, sit the, the fuck, fuck down. Yeah, nah, like, but yeah, you had to. I feel like you had to have. Uh, you that had was just way. Yeah, you yeah. had to have some shit. So in the archive. All right, so that's my pain away, or. Dance my pain away, or nobody has a good ass question. Or nah, this might be bad. Um, hey, you knuckleheads. Mm. If you had to choose, dance my pain away, or hey, you knuckleheads. You had to hit one for the rest of your life. You had to delete the other one. Which one would it be? Damn. I'm gonna keep dance my pain away now. Woo! You gonna get away? You gonna get rid of? Uh, AU, it's, it AU hurt like <laughs> town. No, it, it hurt to the core. But I'm gonna just keep dancing my pain. I ain't gonna lie, that is a special song the, though. Yeah, to listen the to lyrics? for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah okay. I'm gonna listen to dance my pain. Uh, away. Yeah, uh, like that's my shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah shit so hard. I'm gonna keep that over. Um, hey, yo, that's but th- that shit crazy, bro. That's not fair. Like, <laughs> nigga, that nigga, that's not. Nah, that's, that's not right. fair. Yo, so uh, what else? Did, did, damn, I feel like we touched on so much, but um, did you have anything else you had? You was promoting that shit? Uh, nah, just the um, just the EP dropping in August. I'll say the beginning. Um, that's it. Besides that, a couple um, music videos dropping soon. Just I'm getting back into the uh, swing swinging things. shit. Yeah. Okay, yo, it was definitely a good conversation yeah. with you, bro. <laughs> um, make sure you plug yourself. Let niggas know where they can follow you at anything. Everything is at Ernest Third. I'm gonna spell it out. Not the. Don't put the. It's just E R N E S T T H I R D. That's it. My God, conversation series, man. Ernest Thug. <laughs> Ernest Third. <laughs> Yo, what's Jay Hill. Saying? I said Ernest Thug. <laughs> what the fuck I say? <laughs> Ernest Third. J Hill, conversation series, man. It's a wrap, man. I appreciate you, dog. Uh, that was good shit, bro.